Hello, my name is Colin Lindsay. I'm a 15-year-old maker and electronics enthusiast, and for the past few weeks, I've been working on a not-so-electric bike. And I'm done. Here it is. Now, to make something clear, this is not an electric bike, but it does have a car-like dashboard that makes biking much safer. Let's turn the system on. Now, for one, there's a front and back light. With the press of this button, it turns on both the front and back lights so you can ride at night. The back light also acts as a brake light, illuminating when the brake is pressed. And yes, it does work when the back light is already enabled. The third button here acts as a horn, as does the switch on the left handlebars. Now, my favorite feature, the turn signal. This switch on the right side of the handlebars controls which direction you want to signal, and both the front and back lights display a cool animation. Alright, moving on to these two screens. The left screen of the bike dashboard displays useful information and also what buttons are being pressed. The system also contains a GPS, meaning I can get the current time and date plus my speed. If you shift your attention to the bottom right, you'll notice a knob. By pressing it inwards, it brings up a menu. The first option is for riding at night if the battery is low, as it turns on the front and back lights and inhibits everything else. The second option is more for debugging, as it soft resets the Arduino. The third option allows you to choose between miles per hour and kilometers per hour, and remembers your selection even after a restart. And finally, you can go back to the main screen with this cool animation and the press of the last menu button. That's about it. If anyone wants, I recorded the entire process of building this project, so I can share that if people are interested. I hope everyone enjoyed, and stay safe. Wait, you forgot to say happy birthday. Oh right, happy birthday Arduino.